My name is Daniel Wodosan and uh, I'm a creative and I'm also a man of faith and I also love theology. I don't claim to be excellent at it, but I do love it. And so when a project comes up that is incredibly creative and very challenging to tell 42 chapters of Bible in a way that will entertain an audience for two and a half to three hours, and you also get to explore some incredibly amazing theological aspects of that, it's a project that you want to jump at. And then once you jump at it, you go, oh my goodness, <laughs> this, is, this is wild. But there are so many great choices that we can make and bold choices that we can make whilst creating this project. And, and that'll be in set design. That'll be in how we light it. That'll be in our style of cinematography. That'll be in the actors that we use and the, and the choices that all these other creatives make as well. Um, and I'm confident we're going to pull off something groundbreaking and amazing. For me, my faith perspective and creative perspective are intertwined. They're, they're one in the same. Uh, and I like to ask questions. That has always been my approach, not necessarily delivering answers. I feel like if we ask the right questions and we ask them in a way that gets an audience or the cast or the crew also asking these questions, that's a really healthy and exciting place to be in. And we don't even need to all come up with the same answer to that question, but we're thinking about it and we're kind of entering into a space where we're going, all right, what if this happened? Or how would I behave if this took place? Or is there a God? And if there is a God, is he good? Asking these questions is a healthy thing to do. No matter what your responses are, you're opening yourself up to that. And the book of Job is great because you'll ask 50 different theologians, okay, what's the theme? You're going to get 50 different answers. We do know that it explores suffering. And why do good people suffer? And that's a good question to ask, to not be afraid of asking that. And let's see what answers come and why they come and who they come from and how different they are and can different answers align. So, yeah, we're going to get creative and there's definitely a faith aspect to this. But my approach is to, to boldly ask those questions and see what comes of it. I have the kind of personality where I, I'll watch an incredible film and I'll go, oh, who is that director? That is so you know, awesome. Or who is that cinematographer? But I'll also see a lovely act of kindness on the street and I'll be inspired by that man or woman who I saw do something. I, I was driving past a, a KFC one time and um, as, I, as I, I wasn't driving past, I was getting KFC. As I was pulling up, uh, I was in the car outside and there was an elderly lady in KFC who was choking on, on something and I got out of my car, and before I even got to the door, this, this young guy, by, by looking at him, you'd go, oh, he's, he's a bit wild, maybe he's a bit of a punk. He's run in. He's done the Heimlich maneuver on this woman and, sa and saved her life. Um, and I heard him talk to his mates afterwards. They're like, oh, where did you learn that? He's like, oh, no, I saw it on TV. That's inspiring. I'm inspired by moments like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I draw my inspiration literally from everywhere and as many experiences as I can. So I've been working in the creative arts for an extremely long time. Um, working as a professional in that space, probably only about 22 years. And every uh, project that I've worked on, I've, I've, I've learned something new or obtained a new skill. I remember stepping into the industry um, as an actor. I, I wanted to be an actor and that was it. That was everything. And I was really lucky to work at uh, Channel 7 while I was still a teenager. And uh, I saw the world of, of television. I thought, oh, wow, there's so much more. There's so much more here just acting. And I was fascinated by the script writers. And, you know, I'd, I'd often be allowed to go up to where the Home and Away guys sit and sat with them and, and saw how they communicated and how they wrote scripts. And I'd be allowed, um, you know, to, to trail a director and just see how they direct and what they do. And... And then walking through the, the studios, you see the sets everywhere. And so, you know, at 19 years old, I was inspired by all the different areas of, of filmmaking. And so I, I started trying out different aspects and made a lot of mistakes, <laughs> made a lot of mistakes on the way, but that's how you learn. Um, also had a lot of wins on the way. And I suppose as I, as I entered that, um, or as I went on that journey and 
tried this, it didn't work, but I've learned this, now I'll try that, I'm not sure about that. I learned where my strengths were, where my weaknesses were. I learned that you really need a team of experts around you. I also learned that as the director, at the end of the day, you need to make the call, but sometimes making the call early, you know, I'm disallowing myself to have something amazing and creative come in to play. So I'll, I'll kind of know where I, I want to go with a project, get creative experts around me, hear their ideas, and, and, and usually as a team, the end product is so much better for that. So yeah, I've learned to, I've learned to communicate with other creatives. I've learned to um, adapt where you need to adapt. I've learned to, to make the call when you need to make the call. Um, and I've learned that the creative space um, is terribly difficult and complex, but also really rewarding when you put in the work. Uh, Jason Blakelock gave me a call out of the blue. And at the time, I actually thought it was a different Jason, <laughs> who I knew really well. I didn't know Jason that well at all. And he was talking to me about, oh, you know, we've got this, um, we've got this film that we want to do. Um, it's the book of Job. We want to piece it together. And me thinking it was a different Jason, I was like, oh, yeah, all right. Um, so you say the script is ready. Like, is it in shooting format? Like, have you, is, is it in final draft? Is it in a script format or is it just a concept? So no, no, it's ready. We, you know, we've got shot list. We've got everything. We, we've got lots of people on board with you. And we're really keen for it. And I was still thinking it was this other guy. I was like, yeah, yeah, right. Well, I'll tell you what, Jace, just, uh, just email me the, uh, the concept and, you know, we'll see how it goes. And he hung up and I was driving on the freeway at the time. And I remember thinking that was really, it was really weird that this guy's putting together a, a film like this. I got to my destination, checked my emails. I've gone, oh, that's a different Jason. <laughs> that's a different Jason. And um, we organized a Zoom meeting and I said that to him. I said, just so you know, early on, I thought you were someone else. And I've looked at the project and it's a big ask, but it looks legit. This is a project that I absolutely would love to be a part of. And so um, after speaking to, to Jason, uh, I, I then met you, Simon, and you, you, know, you made sure you put me through my paces and made sure I knew what I was doing and wasn't making it all up, which I appreciate. I think that's a really important step. And then I got to pitch the idea and, and vision and my approach to the board, you know, of um, the team at Excelsior who are overseeing the entire project. And so I, I just thought, you know, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to pitch what I think is, is the way to go. And so I, I did that and, and I was still am really passionate about that, but I held it loosely. I thought, I'm not going to make anything up. So they get me in and then I go down a path I don't want to go. I'm going to say, this is my vision. This is my goal. This is my dream for the project. If you don't like it, I absolutely understand, but thank you for your time. And, and, you know, thankfully they, they loved the direction that I wanted to take this in and I got the ticks and, uh, and it was go. My goal for any project, and I'm going to refer to the book of Job in this context, um, you know, as a script or, uh, you know, just as um, a story, even though it's much more than that. But my goal for any project is to, to take what's written on paper and bring it to life. Now, this particular project is really important for me because it's the Bible. And so often the Bible can be looked at or read um, or an audio or whatever it is. And it, it can sound so mundane at times. It just, it just can. But the way I read it, it's very much alive and it's exciting. And, you know, it's re you have this diversity of characters going through these wild emotions, arguing with God and God speaking back. And when I read that, well, that's powerful. That's, that's something living. And so particularly for this project uh, is to deliver the story, the text, in a way that an audience will go, oh, my goodness, this, what I've just heard is something phenomenal and maybe be inspired to check out other stories that are, that are found in the biblical narrative and, and read them in a fresh way of a um of an of an epic as opposed to mundane words